Hey, hey, hey. All right, everybody, in the shed. I've got a parcel with a uh, part for the old uh, electric motorbike. But first of all, shed's looking a bit dirty. Let's clean it up, is it? Ta-da! That'll do for now. Hoi! All right, folks. Now, what you're about to see next is me just taking apart an old rusty brake and showing you some rusty stuff, okay? So I'm giving you a chance to walk away, right? <laughs> if you don't want to see me taking apart a brake, that's all it is, me taking apart a brake, then I give you a chance to go and have a, to turn it off, go and have a cup of tea, go and watch something else, right? You've been warned anyway. Let's crack on with it. Right, okay, so here is the actual uh, brake. And if you turn this around, here, there is some seriously rusty pads. I mean, they're absolutely minging. <laughs> the trouble is the brake sits up underneath, so it, it sits up this way. So the water falls onto this all the time, instead of being opposed to being sitting that way. But anyway, Let's see if I can take some things apart. Let's, these two uh, bolts here are, are pins that go right through and hold this pad in. So let's see if I can undo these first. It's one pin. See, look, it's a pin. It's like with a thread at the top. Bit rusty there. That's one. Let's do this one as well. Bit stiff there, but they should come out all right. There's the other one. Look, bit of a clean up. They should be fine. Now then. Should I take this off first, get this out of the way? Or better undo them first now. It's something to hold on to, isn't it? Um, let's have a look if these pads do. They, they... <laughs> there you go, like this. That's actually come out quite easy, look. <laughs> Here's the pad. Look at that, it's rusty, isn't it? Falling to bits. A little bit of meat left on the bone, but... Um, They've been sitting there for a while now, obviously. Let's see if this one comes out easy enough. Oh, I think I need a... Uh, oh, got a tiny screw over there, see if that'll uh, do anything. Here we are, look at that. So, that one's out there. Bit of meat left on that one. But um, you can see the rust again. It's terrible, isn't it? It's all bits of debris in here as well. And then if I go like this. Oh, there's some muck in here, look at this. Now then. Oh. So, they're probably going to be seized in you. They're going to be terrible, these, these two pistons. I don't know if you can see the two pistons in there. One, two. They're all rusty inside. Um, so I'm going to have to buy um, a piston kit. There'll be... Uh, Two seals either side, and um, well, I don't know. This see, it's a kit you can buy. It's about forty quid. I'll put a picture up now, so you can see what I'm all about. And the next, the, these things here, these are going to be tricky. <laughs> these um, bleed valves there, eh? that one there, eh? and where's the other one? My mad. There's two on you, there? One. Oh, there. there. <laughs> That one here as well. Bit of GT85. <laughs> now then. But anyway, let's take it a bit, let's take it apart a bit more. Let's see if we can get it stripped down a bit.
I've taken the old uh, pipe off. I won't be needing that. that. Now, that is surplus to requirements, that is, because I'll be using a different, a long uh, brake hose coming all the way down. So that, that is up there. Yeah. Getting a bit of a mess, but there, you know. Uh, let's try and undo these two before I undo that one, I think. A bit, bit extreme, but I'll use a long bar. <laughs> One. Let's see if we can get that one as well. This one. Oh, I don't want to go there. There we go. That one's gone as well. There we go. somewhere now look we've just got this little bit left what's that in there like two little two little spring things in there don't know if you can see that keep the pads sort of under some sort of tension I expect no then I have to take these apart don't I so I haven't looked at any manual, I'm just taking them apart. I don't know if I'm doing it the right way, the wrong way, or whatever way. But it, is, it seems pretty straightforward, doesn't it? Let's have a go in, let's have a bash, is it? Ready? Easy peasy. Next one. easy as that. Right. Let's take these out of here. Like so. One. Two. And there we go. Look. Look at the state on that. Look at that. Look. Minging. You can see you've got a little rubber doodah in here. That's obviously to keep the seal between the two, isn't it? I'll have to get a new one of them. But uh, that needs a really good clean up, doesn't it? I mean, I, got no, I, got, I think I've got no chance of getting them up today. We're beyond the point of trying to save these um, pistons. I think it's going to be pointless to try and save them. So I might try and get a grips. I, I don't think it's going to work, but uh, I can I can try. I can try. There's them spring things I was talking about, Luxie. Like, there. One, two. Uh, So as it happens, my brother's got this slide hammer device that's gone into the piston there, it splays out and I'm going to put this slide hammer on here like this, do that up and uh, I'm going to try and pull it out like that. So I'll give it a bash, I can hold the camera at the same time and do it so if it works I'll show you, if it doesn't I won't, sh I won't show you anything. <laughs> Okay, look, look, I managed to get it out. Um, here's the piston there. Uh, I don't know if you can see inside, there's all the teeth marks there. I used heat with the old uh, heat gun and a bit of mole grips. And I kept turning it and turning it until it popped out. So I got them out. So I'll have to buy myself a, new, a complete kit now. New piston, seals, the whole caboose. I just want to point out, there is a little bit of corrosion in there. I can get it out with a Dremel and a small brush, but that was um, forcing the uh, rubber seal out and squishing on the 
the piston here. But what, now the piston's out, I mean, it doesn't matter if it's dirt rusty on the inside. It's this bit that matters. So I might be able to... Um, I might be able to get away with these pistons. It all depends what the other one comes out like. Um, so, I might be able to put these back in and just have a, a cheaper uh, seal kit and not buy the pistons. I'm not quite sure yet. But it looks, considering the... Um, how bad the pads looked. These brakes are not too bad, to be honest. So there you go. That's as far as I got with the brakes. Bit rusty, a bit crusty, a bit dirty and a bit dusty. But I'll fix them up in the end. Anyway, if you like this video, give it a like, uh, give it a dislike, uh, comment, uh, subscribe, ring the bell. Do all them nice things and I'll see you in the next one. Ho <laughs> hoi!